So in this tutorial, what I'm going to show you is how to create a custom domain email address for your website. For example, if you want a contact at yourdomain.com, something like that. If you wanted one of those email addresses, well, I'm going to show you how to do that in this very quick video. So the first thing I want to talk about is just the methods overview. How can you, what, what type of email clients can you utilize? And I'm going to show you a quick tutorial with HostGator. So the various methods that you can do this is Google Apps for Business is probably the most popular and probably the best one in my opinion, but it does cost $5 a month. That being said, if you have if you sign up with HostGator for your web hosting account, you can actually have this all for free. And you would just integrate it with some type of Apple Mail client if you have a Mac or you have an iPhone or you would utilize the Outlook or Mailbird programs for Windows and this would be a free option and so I'm going to actually show you how to utilize the HostGator free option right now. So now what I want to show you is actually how to create an email account with HostGator and this is going to be with your custom domain name. right? So HostGator does offer, uh, at least for the smallest account, they do offer at least one email account and as you move higher up in the plans, they offer more than one email account and hopefully whatever hosting service that you utilize they also have a similar service um, but if not feel free to sign up for HostGator but pretty much what I'm going to show you is how to create this one email account and so we're just going to click on this email account and when you open up it should show you a, a window similar to this right and what I went ahead and did was just fill out some information email and password that you want to create and the mailbox quota is how much you want to allocate how much memory you want to allocate for this specific email account right so what we're going to do is just scroll down we have two emails right here we wanted to work on the contact at wpforalltv.com that was the one that we've been working on for a while just our demo website and all we're going to do is click on more and configure email client and so from here what we're going to do is you know there's two options if we remember it was access webmail and configure the email client uh, and the reason why I clicked on configure email client is that we technically were done right there. Our email account was already set up uh, and we could just access the email in that webmail service. The only problem is the webmail service is really not all that great. And the reason why is because you know you can only access it online. There's not really an app for it. Um, if you, A lot of people, they answer emails over their phone, their smartphone. And so that's really not going to be feasible for you in that sense either. Right? So that's why I want to configure a mail client and these mail clients are things like Microsoft Outlook, Live Mail or the Mac Mail app. And so for me since I'm and you can also utilize this on your iPhone as well, but you just have to go through um, these custom settings, right? You would have uh, this is manual settings especially if you're trying to do it on a phone, something like that. So but for me, if you use any of these services, uh, if you use Microsoft Outlook or in my case I use the Mail app for uh, my computer, what you're going to do is just click on this button, the IMAP over SSL and TLS, and you're going to proceed, and it's literally just going to do it all for you. So now that we've actually installed or downloaded that file, it's just going to be a, a simple zip file, and you're just going to open it up like any other zip file, except this time it's going to run a certain script, and you're just going to literally click run. And once you finish that, your email client will be set up. 